Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Howard. And I'm Andrea. And we're with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And we have a little guest with us. He's off camera. It is Harrison, our eight month old. And so you may hear him from time to time. But we are here today with a taste test. Lay's Flavor Icons. So I'm usually disappointed by uh, these flavored chips. I look forward to them. I uh, like the different flavors, but I'm disappointed. Always disappointed when, they, when I get them. Why? They don't taste uh, like they think they should. Oh, well, we'll see. Oh, and also I forgot to mention too, um, we're also gonna be trying out two new candies that I found. So this one is orange vanilla cream M&Ms, and this one is Hershey's white chocolate. So we'll be, oh, actually Hershey's white with whole almonds chocolate. So we'll be trying these out at the end. So you okay. ready to get started? Ready. Okay, you wanna go first? All right, first is Philly cheesesteak flavor. So with Gino's uh, from Philadelphia. So I like Philly cheesesteaks. I've had the Philly cheesesteaks from uh, Philadelphia. I don't remember if it's Gino's or Pat's, but I'm looking forward to trying this and hopefully I like it. And I forgot to mention too that all of the flavors are based off of iconic restaurants in the U.S. So you said that one's from Gino's? Gino's Steaks. Philly cheesesteak. Okay. Doesn't smell like a, smells like a regular chip. All right. Hopefully it tastes like cheesesteaks. Yeah, see, I'm disappointed already. I taste cheese. I taste cheese. Um, that's Everything about it. A mild flavor, though. Mm -hmm. See, when I when I see these flavored stuff, I'm looking forward for a burst of flavor. <laughs> yeah. Well, you may be disappointed then. Oh uh, yes. Yeah, but I mean, I taste cheese. What do you taste? So I, I do taste kind of like a, a, a cheesesteak, a Philly cheesesteak. Like a. But it's very mild. Like a, it tastes kind of like a meat flavor in the background. Like there's yeah. some seasoning in there that tastes like meat, but I taste more cheese than meat flavor. But if you ever had a Philly cheesesteak, would you say this is a chili feast cheesesteak? Philly cheesesteak? No. Yes, hard for me to say. <laughs> okay. All right. So this one, ooh, okay. So this is. Um, New York style pizza from Grimaldi's. I just discovered Grimaldi's about a year ago and I love that place. It's probably my favorite pizza place now. So I know we like the margarita pizza. Which is what's on the picture here is their famous margarita pic, famous margarita pizza. Easy for me to say. Yes, just like two and cheese sticks. Yes. <laughs> so right. here they are. It's better taste good. So these are definitely more red, like tomato colored. Yeah, I don't smell. I don't smell anything, anything any either. But I see flakes of like um, green stuff on there, like it, like it's the uh, basil and stuff like that. Let's well, so. see how it tastes. Here we go. That was Harrison sneezing. It tastes crunchy. It tastes. Um, I taste tomato. I do taste tomato. Mm hmm It tastes kind of sour, like vinegary. It does not taste like pizza. Yeah, but you see, you, you, you had the Grimaldi's pizza and at this point. Well, yeah, because this doesn't taste like Domino's pizza. It doesn't <laughs> taste like pizza at all. It tastes like just tomato and like a very bitter vinegary tomato. I don't care for this at all, so. Oh, sorry. Okay, your turn. Okay, up next, Carnita Street Taco from uh, El Torito. So I've never had El Torito street tacos, but I like carnitas. Yeah. So carnitas are, are pork. Yes. Yes, pork tacos or pork. Oh, so these are wavy. Oh, smell. Yeah, these smell different. Yeah, these actually have a, some kind of scent. Cheers. Cheers. I taste I ham. It, I taste like pico de gallo or something. I can get like a street taco kind of taste on this. I taste um, pork kind of. It has that pork undertone. Cilantro maybe? And I taste some spice. Yeah, it's a little spicy. It. Mm -hmm. This one actually has- it, This uh, one does. Has some kind of flavor. 
Maybe because uh, I've never had it before. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So then the last one is Nashville Hot Chicken. The restaurant is, it says, inspired by Party Fowl in Nashville, Tennessee. Where are the carnitas? El Torito. Oh, in Marina Del Rey, California. Oh, California. Oh, and Gino's Cheesesteaks, Philadelphia. Yeah. So this one, now I've had, well, I haven't had authentic Nashville chick hot chicken. I've had it from KFC. I've never had Nashville hot before, so we'll see. But it tastes like. You smell it. <coughs> it smells hot. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so I get yeah, a little spice back there. He gets some cayenne or something. This is spicy. Now it's not like Doritos flaming hot spicy. It's not like that. I mean, if I had to compare it to another chip. But where's the chicken? I don't taste chicken. I just taste hot. Yeah. See. <laughs> So out of the four chips, which would you say is your favorite? So I think the one with the, ones with the most flavor are the carnitas and the um, Nashville hot. Mm -hmm. The Philly cheesesteak didn't taste much and the other one. The pizza? <coughs> yeah. So which one is your favorite? <coughs> I think I'm getting some Nashville hot here. <laughs> uh, maybe the Nashville hot. Nashville hot, okay. I would say probably for me, it'd be the carnita street taco and then the yeah, Nashville hot. hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, so not bad at all. Um, so but again, I'm disappointed in the flavors. Oh yeah, okay. uh, I would agree. So let's try the candy. So the candy is um, M&M's, orange vanilla cream. And I, I'm not a big cream sickle orange vanilla cream person. I mean, what about you? Neither am I, but it sounds interesting. Yeah, so we'll see here. Oh, they have two different colors in there. Oh. You got the orange or the white one? Yeah. You want orange or white Oh, one? I'll just grab one. Just All right. one. And they're bigger than a plain M&M, and they're smaller than a peanut M&M. They're probably like the flavored ones that they have out now, like the brownie fudge, stuff like that. So they're about that size. I got a big one and a not so big one. They're not perfectly round though. They're kind of misshapen a little bit. All right, you think the orange one tastes uh, like orange and the other one tastes like uh, white chocolate? I didn't uh -huh. think about that. I think they're all the same, let's see. So it looks like that on the inside, white. Tastes like orange vanilla cream, which if you like that, you would like this. I don't. I think they both taste the same. Mm -hmm. The colors. Mm, no. Do you like it? Not bad. I don't mind orange cream sickle. See, and I, I don't like orange cream sickle at all. Okay. So we're gonna try out the white chocolate almond Hershey. I do like white chocolate and I do like almonds, so. Sounds good. Yes. Oh, and here, so the bar broke. But let me show you, this is the back of the candy bar right there. So you can see the almonds there. I'm gonna, there you go. Oh, it's a big, uh, got a big piece. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I'll take a bite. Not that great. Very mild flavor. Very mild and dry. It's not like a creamy white, white chocolate. chocolate. No, not at all. What is that? Oh, that's the, the almond? almond? Why is the almond so, is it burnt? I don't know. It looks like a very dark looking almond. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He just went, I mean, it's not bad. Would you buy it again? No. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I wouldn't buy it again either. It tastes very dry. It tastes old. And I think the almonds are burnt. That's why it's that color. But anyways, guys, I think Harrison has about had enough and we're finished with the taste test anyway. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks Bye. so much for watching. Bye.